Hello, everybody, and welcome, or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We are going to be checking out a new alpha patch here today, which has a lot of really interesting changes. I'm going to check out the one-armed, and more specifically, one-armed with the shredder. I've heard this combo is good, and that works well, because I've never really messed around with the shredder that much anyways. So the one-armed has 200% attack speed up. All damage modifications increase by 100%, but they can only hold one weapon that one weapon is going to be the shredder three piercing with no damage fall off through piercing which is really good uh projectiles have a 50 percent chance to explode on hit uh and it does have half damage scaling but that's kind of par for the course for something that has piercing and explosion chance which i can only imagine does the damage of the weapon in an aoe but we're going to be going on to danger level 5 here. New enemies appear. Inflation is higher. Enemies are stronger. Enemies drop less materials. Two bosses appear at once. Uh, there has been a, uh, you know, a minor change to this. But a, a minor but very noteworthy change that I am so thankful for. Uh, on difficulty level 5, only on difficulty level 5, the bosses have 25% less health. Which is great. And a lot of runs, it's not going to make a difference. Like, for a lot of runs, that 25% is not going to be the difference between killing or not killing. But there will be some, you know, I've had some runs where that will make the difference. Because it does feel like a little bit too high of a mountain, especially with the HP and damage up that they get on difficulty level 3 to even overcome that at all. So, either way, we're going to be checking out this character here. Uh, another one of the changes that's really interesting... I don't know exactly what this entails yet, but items now have an internal associated tag and some characters have a higher chance to find items with a specific tag. So that is a complex way to say you are now more likely to get items that are relevant for your character. So like Lucky is more likely to get luck items. I don't know by how much. I don't know like if it's going to be that noticeable that big of a deal over the course of time but it is going to be really nice duct tape got uh, engineering on it as well interesting i mean it makes sense makes sense but yeah so one armed back to this son of a gun it is a weird one because we can get to some pretty stupid levels of damage but we will sort of fall off in a way in terms of damage um distribution which is why I, I, I'm seeing this weapon in action here, and I'm I'm understanding why people think it is a good combo for this. Uh, you know... Ay, ay, ay. Attack speed. Obviously, we have 200% attack speed already, so getting more feels bad. But... we It's not that we don't want it still. Like, is it going to make as big of a difference? No. Will it take me down even from 0.4 at all? I'm not even sure. You know what? For the sake of science. No. Uh, it probably does, but it's just not, like, rounded by a full number. So, yeah, I, I think that we're probably going to avoid that a little bit more often. Leather vest? It's a little weird to get it early. I'm looking for shredder. Um, okay. So here's the thing about this character. Yes, Shredder's in the shop. Yes, that's cool. But also, we have to get the exact same rarity. We can't do what other characters can do and sort of like store one of each rarity more or less over the course of time and slowly build up all the rarities uh, together. We do have to find it in the shop exactly how we have it. So... Over the course of the run, we need to find... We have to find a blue, and we have to find a purple. Otherwise, yikes. Chance to instantly pick up material. I mean, I don't think lifesteal is really going to be the angle today. 8% um, dodge for one armor. I'll take it. Range damage. Flat range damage is, is good. All right. Okay. For the real science, please tell me. Okay. It's down to 0.38. But you can see it's like... It's tough to really say that we want to do that, but... Um, I'm, I might, I might do a little bit. Who knows? Don't really want to take a speed down for one range damage when it will get doubled because of our character, but it still is only, it is still only one range damage. And I don't really feel like dipping my speed right now. This is going to be great. 
I could go for Blood Leech, but losing that much harvesting right now seems rough. I will take Lemonade and Alien Tongue. I think that, like, uh, seeing those together in a package like that is kind of the dream. Kind of the dream. A little smack in here. I'm, I'm loving this. So each piercing shot has a chance to explode. So if enemies are close enough to each other, we can hit them twice, effectively doubling our damage. If they're really clumped up and tanky, we could theoretically do like three. That is pretty exciting. Huh. Get the tree, get the tree. Ah! Cyberball. This was apparently buffed, I think. This and Baby Elephant. Yeah, 10% chance went up to 15% chance. Um, I am going to take luck on this run, so, like, it sounds nice. I'll get the max HP for now. A little bit of speed, a little bit of range down. I will take Lumberjack shirt. They're taking a bit to die. Uh, Propeller hat is 10 luck, but minus 4% damage. I don't really want to do that. I will take a 14% damage up on injection, though. It's not bad since we have the armor and we have we have 14% dodge. It's not bad. That's more dodge than I usually have for sure. Like a lot more than I usually have. It's nice to feel like I can take lucky coin now. It was just a little bit of like I wouldn't say it was it was bad before. I would not say that at all, but the fact that like just the world feels like it's opened up since armor is like less of a... I just feel less trapped by armor. Like, do I want high armor? Absolutely. Like, I will try and get it, but like... Oh my god, this is not worth it. Are you kidding me? Did you see how long that guy took to die? Why doesn't he go for the loot goblins? Why doesn't he go for the loot... There you go. Look at that. That was wild. Um, The big reason to take this would be the crit chance. I think... I mean, the range is not bad, too. Like, I'll, I'll take it. It's probably better than ditching it. A little bit of speed could go a long way for us. Gentle Alien. I am going to take it because it's early, and we do really well against clumped-up enemies. So, I think that that is totally fine. Uh, melee and range damage. Minus HP regen. See, I don't... I know I have negative HP regen right now. And I, like, here's the thing. I really want luck. But, I, oh my god. I'm gonna take two hits. I really want luck, but I don't really want to take that much of a damage down to get it. Which, I know 4% isn't, like, that much, but I'd rather get it on a potentially different situation. Ow. I mean, we do have minus armor. Obviously, that's gonna hurt. Like, if I'm going to take a damage down, I want to... I don't know. I want to be in a better spot, because we're not even one-shotting the basic enemies here. We can kind of quasi-one-shot if they're clumped. But it's based off of a percentage chance to explode, which... Okay, so yeah, which does go up. It went up to 65% when we got uh, the blue here. So it's 15... Then it'll be another 15 up to... Okay. So it either goes up to like 95 or... Or be like 100%. Nice. 80. So it was it was 15 and then... Okay. So theoretically at max it'll be either 95 or it'll just take it all the way up to 100. Which would be pretty cool. <sighs> Fine. I'll take another Cyberball. I, again, like, I need luck. And here's the thing. I... If I'm taking a dump stat of HP regen and, um... And lifesteal. Like, if I'm, if I'm dumping both of those, I need luck. Like, that's the thing. Is Some people are like, you know, why does he never take this? Why does he never take that for, for regen? Uh, completely forgetting a lot of the times that, um... Luck is a regen stat and ever since you know we don't have the concern of um picking up hp when we're at full health because of that beta patch like we just don't really care anymore about that aspect like we're not going to pick it up usually unless we need it so it's just it became better crates heal you now as well on the alpha branch 
uh, which is great. Oh, I'm at positive armor. Shall I'll, I'll, sure, I'll take it. I'll take it. Wow me. No, what? fine. Oh, I should have taken the luck. I'll take the flat range. Okay, another cyber ball. Okay, do, do, does this character have tags for luck or something? Is this character tagged to get more more luck? I don't know. This is tempting. Okay, so we, we went up three damage. Mm. Mm. It's going to take quite a while. Do we one-shot the base enemies? We one-shot these guys, which means we probably do, right? All right, all right. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. At this point, like, yeah, I don't know how much more attack speed really will help us. Like, if I'm offered, like, a high attack speed upgrade, I'll probably end up going for it. But... I don't think I'll tunnel for it the way I normally do. Oh my god, when I could potentially just uh, tunnel in on making sure we one-shot. Oh god, please, thank you. One-shot trees is beautiful. Okay, 12% damage, 2% lifesteal, 200 earning down, don't care. Uh, th that's not worth the recycling. Oh, why would you do this to me? I'm gonna take the luck, I am gonna take the luck. Because here's, here's what's actually kind of interesting about this character. Um, Cyberball does scale 25% off of luck, but theoretically, if it's the same as the demo, it does scale off of our percentage damage afterwards. So that actually could be huge. See, look at it. Yeah, it went up to five. See, look at that. I don't want alien magic right now. I, I might take Sad Tomato, though. Concerning. Concerning, but ultimately probably pretty good. 1 HP every 1.4 seconds. It's frightening when we have pretty bad armor and stuff, but like, I think it's gonna be... Oh my god, I think it's gonna be good. Oh, little frame drop there. I'm afraid, because it did say that the uh, the beta branch is a bit unstable, or the alpha branch is obviously going to be a bit unstable. But, uh, who knows, man? We'll see. Ooh, ooh. All right. We do great, great AoE clear, which makes sense. This is wave nine. This should be, like, our jam. When we get to the spot where... If we get to the spot where our luck effects one-shot enemies, we are in for a stupid chain react run. Which would be amazing. Because that's a, that's a run that's, I don't know, I don't know if I'd ever say it really worked. Like, Lucky is the character that it would work the best on, and I don't know if I would say it's historically worked. What the hell? I'm starting to think this character has the luck tag on them. Yeah, another cyberball? Interesting. Interesting. Like, again, I don't hate it. A 15% chance to do 5 damage. Does it do 20, though? Is it is it like that other one where it stacks, or is it... Yeah, it's doing 28 damage. It's doing 28 damage. I don't know why it's doing 28. It must be because it's not actually five. It's like five point blank, blank, blank. And when it combines, it's... I don't know, man. Either way, I ain't mad. 28 is good. It's not enough to one shot. But, like, I think we can get there. Because, yeah, the way that... The way that Cyberball stacks, like, it just combines all of the damage it would do onto the same target. It doesn't make it so it's, like... Four instances of five damage on random targets, which is good. That would be a much worse situation because five damage is oh, not going to kill anyone. And what are the odds that you're going to, like, you know, hit the same target you want twice? Not very likely. 
but 28 that you could see a realm where that gets up to where we need i'll take some flat range though Ooh, ooh, wait 16 so that actually should be huge Here's the thing. So that's six. Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Okay, 12 times four. I guess... I could see why this would be a favored stat if that's, like, actually a thing. We're doing 52? Oh my god, wait. We do 52 with all the, the cyber balls? I mean, we have four. I guess I would hope they'd be good. So whenever they die, whenever an enemy dies, they have a 15% chance to kill another enemy. Is kind of what that means. At least as long as they're not a, a big tanky enemy. That's pretty good. Not to mention the, uh, the elephant business, which I haven't fully looked into, like what we're really doing with that yet, but I would imagine it's not very much damage. Cyberball is a little bit more uh, damaging. Oh, I almost, I almost just took that. Um, armor. <gasps> it's just perfect. It, it just a hundred percent explosion. It's just a hundred percent explosion chance now. Not bad. So what does the elephant do? Do we have an elephant? We have one elephant. 20% chance to do four damage to a random enemy. Again, like, we kind of want that stacked. Because I doubt it's going to do more than, like, I don't know, what, like, eight damage if, at, at best. No, it, it is just doing four. It's, it's, it's actively pretty bad right now. That being said, we have 25 luck, which I would not call a large amount of luck. I really would not say that that is that impressive. And I want more because luck is kind of our means of survival right now anyways, since we're going for a little bit more of an HP regen through food build for survival. Which, with the new change, I, I genuinely, I need to make it known that that is a very valid method of survival. Okay. Ow. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Okay, let's be honest. The, the damage will help this too. Or at least it's supposed to. I will take that. No weird ghosts, not right now. Ooh. Okay, well, enemies are going to explode. I should have probably taken Metal Detector. Oh my god, 140 damage? Oh my god, Cyberball does 140. Look at these enemies exploding randomly. So now Cyberball might proc a Cyberball? Like, pretty reliably. It is... Not hard to imagine a situation where a cyberball procs a cyberball. It could go indefinitely, but it, it almost seems like it's procking twice now. I don't know why that would be the case. It may just be that we're getting like lucky more often. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is so dumb! This is so dumb. I love it. So the crates, uh, yeah, since the crates heal, they don't also get picked up unless we need them. Like, if we ever get to the spot where the, um... Eh, nah. Uh, yeah, nah. If we get to a spot where uh, Baby Elephant starts to, do, like, really do stuff. So it's 10... Now it does 13, this does how much? Like, how much does that do? 34 times 5, and then, theoretically, our damage afterwards. 13, up to 14. Dear God.
The biggest concern is is right away, obviously. Oh, Ain't nobody gets to play the game. Nobody gets to play the game. <laughs> oh my god. Because we, we kill so many with one shot. Like, here's the issue that one arm usually has is kind of the fact that um you can't kill back line very well. Ooh, sometimes, but like this weapon helps with that. And okay, how are those little punks not dying in one hit? I'm confused. They have a. They have. I would say the things that the hosts spawn have too much health. And I'm not even just necessarily talking from like a it's annoying perspective. Just from like a game field perspective, it feels weird that the babies it spawns are much tankier than it is. That just feels strange. I will do that. It's a little bit weird. I will not take... I don't think I will take a 20% damage down. Like, we don't care as much about flat range damage since we scale at it at a 50% ratio. It's just not as impressive for us. And we'll take that. Sure. I'll take another cyber ball. Why not? I want more elephants. Like, genuinely, if we get a bunch of elephants and they stack to the point, if we can make it so an elephant hit kills an enemy, we ex explode everything. Oh my god. 254 damage from Cyberball. Because of the way they stack. I just... Holy god. It... It is so nice. Like, the amount of hours I put into Brotato, like in the demo days, everything like that, and the fact that I've never, never really had a run where I felt like Cyberball's been impressive. Just to have this change now is, is so neat. It really feels like it's maybe like, it's just an item that you, that you need stacked. But like, I've never been able to stack this much. I'm guessing it's the... I'm guessing it's a favored item for whatever reason. And whoop, and maybe this is the reason. Maybe this is the reason because of the fact that it does indeed scale. I don't want more enemies for the sake of it right now. Okay, I don't love our regen getting that low, but like I'm going to do it. Wisdom? I'll take wisdom. Yeah, like... Having, uh... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. The first little section of the of every fight is going to be really spooky. Because, like, we have pretty good healing and everything, like, from all of our luck. Yada, yada. 420 damage! 427. We have pretty good scaling and everything. But, like, we do need to get lucky a, a little bit early. Ow. That enemy is very fast. Find all the weak enemies. Find all the weak enemies. Find all the weak enemies. We need to kill enemies to get our damage, so... Like, we can't just... Get lucky... All the time. Like, we've gotten it to the point where we only need to get lucky once to, like, really have good success, but... I... I suspect... Disaster. I mean, I guess I could. Extra pickup range could be nice. Minus dodge to make it happen, though. I'm going to say no. More HP regen actually should be very, very big for us. Yes. Yes. Okay. That should help quite a bit. 25% less damage. We have 18 dodge. Okay. Yeah, like, like the fact that our damage on our normal hits now is like really unimpressive is kind of funny. Like Cyberball blows it out of the water. Okay, we kind of want to pop the hosts. Like this is the one of the first... Oh, I walked into... I thought he would have been dead. Please, not like this. Please. Okay, good. Good kill propagation there. Okay. 
We need random enemies to, yeah, random enemies to spawn and to die here. We need small enemies. Groups of small enemies means that we will kill a bunch of random big enemies. It is strange and I love it. This is certainly the weirdest feeling run I've ever had. Oh, shoot. Actually, more tree spawn is huge. I don't think I want the coupon this late. You can't do anything with this. You can't upgrade it. Why would I do this? I don't know. Gentle alien. I'm I'm concerned about it at this point. Oh god. This wave is a little bit frightening because these guys take what? How many hits? Three? The beginning of the wave is always the hardest of this one as well. Because they throw a lot at you. Like it's a very top heavy run, like or a top heavy wave from a difficulty perspective. It's not proving to be too bad for us though, thankfully. Not proving to be too bad at all. Again, hosts are kind of good enemies for us. Ow! Which is not a feeling I uh, usually have felt. But we like big groups of small enemies. Yeah. This wave is so strange. It just gets easier over time. This is kind of backwards. No? I need I need base damage. Like I need to yo. Know, You know what? Sure, sure. That actually should be really good. The question is if I want Shady Potion. The answer is probably yes. Okay. Like, I need to just have enough HP to not die right away. If I have enough HP and armor to take a hit immediately, then, like, I think we're in a pretty good spot. More small enemies, more small enemies, more small enemies. I wonder if a, tr a tree can cyberball proc for us? I don't know. Does it count as it probably doesn't count as a killed enemy? From what from what I know of the code, I don't think it has an enemy tag. I think that's an actual thing that you can have. Okay. But yeah, look at look at all this luck. So once we've got things kind of rolling. This is probably one of the most exponential situations we have, you know, that we've, we've ever had in this game. All this HP is just sitting there ready to get us all healed up. Fine, I'll take the range down. Yes. 120? Okay. Fine. HP regen minus lifesteal. I think I would rather... And then this is the final wave. Oh god, it's the final wave. We shall see. I'm scared. Oh god. I don't really want to kill them. I want to kill all the adds. Because it'll actually ironically do more damage to them if I kill the adds anyways. Like, kind of sort of counterproductively. Ow. That's the plan. Ow. Ow. Everything is unbelievably painful to me. Uh, this is gonna be it. Very stressful. There's not as many enemies as I would actually like, which is sort of a weird feeling. I want more. Just run away. Just run away. What was that garbage? 14. 12. 
Good dodge. Uh. Please. Oh. <laughs> I thought I died. I thought I died. Oh my god. What a what a run. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Cyberball? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, 25% extra health reduction on the bosses did not matter today. It was irrelevant. It was an irrelevant nerf. I would say the biggest change is theoretically whatever the hell items with, you know, special tags are more likely to show up. Whatever is going on with that, I feel like is what happened. That or we just got really lucky because I don't, I don't know if luck is an associated tag for this character or not. We maybe just got obscenely lucky because this actually doesn't have luck on it. Here's the thing. That's the other thing. This, this doesn't have luck on it. So why would this this be tagged with? I don't know, man. I don't know. I've got no clue. Like, why would we find six cyberballs and only one baby elephant then? If that's the case, I don't. I really don't know. We got a lot of cyclops worms, which I think would make a lot of sense. Like, I, I would assume that this character's best tags would be uh, percentage damage. I would assume that that would be their tags. I don't know though. Uh, what the hell is this? 30% damage up. Minus 3% attack speed for every weapon you have. I will also mention, how did we have 100 and, like 111 luck and we never found a legendary? What's up with that? What's up with that? Uh, maybe it's because there's no legendaries that are the appropriate tag or something. I don't, I just don't know. But this is a weird item. 30% damage up, but minus 3% for every weapon you have? I mean, you're going to have six weapons most of the time. So, like, is an 30% damage up, 18% attack speed down worth it? No? Like, it'd be good on this character, obviously. Like, obviously, focus would break this character in half. 60% damage up for a 3% attack speed down is fundamentally absurd obviously but dang all right there's another one done i do still need to get these stinkers unlocked uh we, we will do that we will indeed uh wow yeah what what the heck else did, what got changed there was um hp regen efficiency increased by 33 percent, which i think is good i think the new i like the new mechanical idea of the new hp regen but it did feel like the numbers were just off, so I'm really happy to see that. Um, I think... What else? Truthfully, like, actually not that much else has changed that was relevant today. Yeah, other than today, the only other thing I could see is that the crates heal you. And mummy's speed are de were slightly decreased. Yeah, so really, truthfully, the only thing that impacted this run today is the crate thing and the fact that, um, well, I guess Cyberball having a 5% extra uh, proc chance probably helped a lot, uh, and the tag system, which I'm very, very curious to watch closely because it sounds nice. I know one of the biggest complaints people have about the game is like, oh, man, the luck. The luck is so annoying. It's like, it's true. There are some runs that really you just don't get the right stuff. So this system existing, I really like. Is it, we'll have to play more before we come to a conclusion about how much it's influencing things. Cause there is again, a chance that Cyberball isn't even tagged for one armed. And I'm kind of happy if it is, I'm kind of happy it is. Cause I wouldn't have considered the Cyberball synergy today had it not slapped itself on my lap twice and then thrice, and then twice, you know, whatever. Either way, thank you for watching. This has been Brotato. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below. So check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>